so hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition, here with your weekly reading. So Aries, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate for your situation. And that's okay, just take what does and leave the rest behind. Alright, I do encourage you to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising um, and Venus signs as well, just for any more clarity to your situation. All right, let's see what is coming in. What is going on for Aries? All right, so Aries, you have that Eight of Pumpkins. You have the Nine of Ghosts, look at that, and the Strength card, the Tower card, and the King of Amps. Okay. Ooh, look at that, bottom of the deck. You have a Queen of Amps, so you have a King and a Queen here. Um, standard Tarot, that would be the King and Queen of Wands. Okay. So, focus of your reading is the Eight of Pumpkins. So, the Eight of Pumpkins is talking about putting work in, putting focus into something. Um, you could be, you know, concentrating on making that coin, you know, making that pinnacle. Um, you know, really trying to get ahead at work, or maybe you just have a lot of work coming in. You know, again, take it how it resonates. Um, or for some of you, you're focused on trying to find work. With the Nine of Ghosts, you're really kind of, you know, looking towards, you know, your uh, wish fulfillment. I feel like some of you are really kind of working towards that. That's what you're focused on is some kind of wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment, making something, you know, happen here. Um, with the Strength card, it feels like, you know, you kind of been down and out for a moment. Um, I keep getting that, you know, it's like you're trying to get ahead. I just keep that, I'm trying to get ahead, trying to get ahead type of um, thing, just like kind of replaying. Um, and it does feel like, you know, you're going to get there. It does feel like you're going to be in the spotlight. Um, I don't know why that came to mind. It's just what I'm getting. But, you know, it just feels like it's going to take some time. It's going to take some patience. Um, they're just letting me know, like, you know, again, time and patience. Just, you'll get there. With the Tower card here, this is really telling me that something very unexpected is going to be coming your way. Um, this could be in form of a person. This could be in form of... Yeah, I'm getting a person. I'm also getting some kind of news. This could be news about what you're working towards for this, like I said, this wish fulfillment here. But for a lot of you, this is definitely a new person. Uh, that King of Imps, like I said, King of Wands here, um, definitely fiery, def definitely passionate, um, definitely taking some action here. Um, I do feel, like I said, there's going to be some unexpected. This could be possibly some communication from someone from your past, or like I said, this is going towards someone new, someone new coming in that you didn't see coming. Um, it's just kind of, you know, kind of catches you off guard in a moment. Because it's like, what? Where did you come from? But there's going to be a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry, a lot of fun, flirty. Yeah, it feels like, you know, maybe that's what you've been trying to focus on. Maybe that's what you've been working on. Working on finding your other person. Okay, so we have clarifying the strength card. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Two of Wands. Okay, so definitely there's been an ending here of some kind, um, possibly a relationship or um, just putting, you know, I keep getting old ways too, old ways of thinking, old ways of, you know, acting, um, you know, whatever the case is, something you're putting in the past, you're done and it's over. You've made this decision to kind of move forward. I do feel like it's been kind of a, a quick decision here. Um... And maybe that's what, maybe that's what I'm getting here. You know, Aries, kind of, you know, slow down in the decision making, kind of take your time, really evaluate the situation because it does feel like some of you are kind of making some pretty rash decisions and it's like you need to just kind of focus. Don't run so hot and cold is what I keep getting. All right, so clarifying the Nine of Ghosts, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the King of Swords. Okay, so like I said, I'm definitely getting there's somebody's been iced out here um, from a relationship, no conversation, or well, you know, no communication, um, but somebody wants to work this out, somebody wants to work on this connection. Like I said, maybe that's what's so unexpected here, is that you finally get communication from this person. For those of you who, you know, want a reconciliation, that is. 
I feel like this possibly wasn't a full relationship, but maybe just where, you know, one that was kind of like a friends with benefits type of situation or something where you could just kind of hook up. Yeah, but it's like somebody wanted more, but somebody, the other person wasn't quite sure. Or it's just something happened and we ended up kind of going our own ways. Yeah, somebody definitely kind of feels very guarded here. We also have, look at that, the Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment and a new beginning. Okay, yeah, because like I said, right now, somebody's just really kind of guarded here. Um, but slowly... The guard is coming down slowly it's being removed and i do feel like i said they're going to open up with communication i feel like you're going towards a new beginning that's going to bring some wish fulfillment here that's going to bring some happiness okay nice all right so for the tower card we have temperance we have the three of chalices and we have the Six of Swords. So this is definitely talking about moving forward. This is talking about, again, for some of you, reconciliation. Um, but, you know, bringing finally a balance to the situation to where there may not have been a balance before. Um, but this is also talking about, you know, healing and, you know, definitely like a healing balance. Um, Yeah, I'm just getting like this person for some of you. I'm getting twin flame. Others, I'm getting soulmate connection. There's just a very strong soul bond. Like I said, for some of you, I don't feel like you've gotten to to really take it to like a um, you know a relationship type type of commitment here. With the King of Imps, Imps, we have the Hierophant coming out. We also have the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, see, somebody here didn't want commitment. Somebody was kind of juggling, going back and forth. One foot in the door, one foot out the door. Um, you know, possibly, you know, playing some mind games, you know, kind of leading you on or just saying what you want to hear. Um, but I don't feel like this really got to that, you know, exclusively dating type of relationship for some of you. Um, like I said, it feels more like... Um, for most of you, that is, I should say, it does feel more of like a friends with benefits type of situation instead of, you know, like I said, we're exclusively dating and, you know, so on and so on. Um, hmm. Yeah, and then look at that bottom of the deck. You have the king of wands again. So, like I said, there's a strong connection here. There's a lot of passion here. Um, I, I am feeling, like I said, a reconciliation. And I'm feeling like things could be different this time. You know, maybe this person's had some time to think about whether they want to take this to the next level of commitment. All right. Okay, so we have spider, community, and web weaving. All right, so with the card of spider, I am getting... Um, almost like a web of lies in a way, a web of deceit. It's like we're trying to get to each other, but there's just so much going on. It feels like, you know, with other people being kind of involved in the connection, um, you could have possibly been in a relationship or maybe they were, you know, not here to judge. I'm just saying, you know, there, that's maybe why I didn't get taken to the next level of, um, exclusivity, you know, of, um, one-on-one -on -one of just being together, next level of commitment, you know? Um, but I'm also kind of getting that, you know, <sighs> I keep getting something about karma. Like somebody's getting their karma. Maybe that's why they're coming back too. They're trying to kind of, you know, fix something. And then we have death. So the eternal cycle begins here. Okay, Aries. I got to show you this one because it's eternal love. Love is love and it transcends physical death. Okay. So, again, I do feel like there has possibly been um, some multiple, you know, lifetimes with this particular connection with this particular person. I'm sure, you know, some of you that's resonating with, you feel it. You've already asked yourself, like, you know, maybe we've known each other in a past life or, you know, something like that has been said. Um, with the death, like I said, I do feel like there's going to be a huge transformation. I think that's what catches you off guard with this person because I do feel like, you know, like I said, I feel like there's been no communication. I feel like somebody's been kind of iced out. Um, I feel like the last time you were together, some harsh words could have been kind of spoken. Definitely, like I said, some coldness going on. But it just really kind of feels like um, that's what's unexpected, is that this person wants to come in, possibly apologize, or just definitely opening up communication when you thought it was just kind of done and over. Okay. 
All right, so your two cards are the Wiccan Reed and then the Tarot Cards Guidance. So the Wiccan Reed, um, this is just talking about, you know, kind of like the Wiccan laws, not how I say laws, but definitely just, you know, kind of like, you know, abiding by certain things, like, you know, how karma, you know, that, that saying, you know, it goes around, comes around, you know, so on and so forth. It's just kind of saying that, you know, do unto others, basically. Um, it's definitely just kind of talking about something like that. You know, what goes around is going to come around. Um, you know, so treat people how you want to be treated. You know, if you're going to treat someone crappy, that's going to end up coming back to bite you on the butt. Um, with tarot cards, you also have guidance. So again, I do feel like, you know, that's what you're doing. You've been watching, um, perhaps some of you out there are actually, you know, studying tarot cards or, you know, you're also readers yourself, but I do feel like you are looking for guidance in this particular situation. Um, because again, for some of you, I feel like you feel like this is definitely going to be coming back and I'm seeing it too. So, all right, let's get some charms. Okay, so we have, oh, look at there. So you may be dealing with a Libra because we have the charm of Libra. And of course, you know, Libras are so very charming. We also have a little star. So again, I'm seeing some kind of wish fulfillment here, some kind of happiness. Um, let me see what this guy is. Oops. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, I do feel like, again, somebody was very guarded. Somebody was very kind of like um, <sighs> confrontational. Um, really trying to, like I said, keep somebody at bay. Um, really just, you know, like I said, really kind of very protective of themselves, of their heart space. Um, you know, again, I just I keep getting very guarded. I mean, there's just no other way to put it. With a little wing here. Again, I am feeling, for some reason, I get soulmate with that particular charm. Um, but I'm also feeling like this connection is very, you know, kind of guarded, you know, watched over for sure. Something that's kind of, you know, written in the stars here with this little owl. I do feel like, you know, again, there has been an ending here with this situation, but again, I feel like, you know, that transformation is definitely going to be taking place with the anchor. I do feel like, you know, there's definitely like that opposites attract here, um, kind of thing going on here. Um, but I am getting that, you know, somebody just kind of feels stuck right now with a little happy face. Like I said, I'm definitely getting that. Somebody's going to be smiling big. Somebody's going to be pretty happy here. Um, somebody's just kind of, you know, doing their own thing right now, kind of focusing on them with the little elephant. You know, that's where I'm getting, you know, a lot of, um, luck, you know, again, loyalty. Um, you know, I keep getting again, somebody being very nostalgic, just kind of thinking, you know, of like what was going on between the two of you, how things were kind of left. And I just felt like it wasn't left in a very good place. And that's really what, you know, this card is kind of talking about. And that's definitely what they want to come in and try to fix. Um, love and be loved. So again, I really have to say that goes back to that, you know, just trying to fix something, trying to kind of right a wrong is what I get with that very strongly. Um, we do have this little bottle opener here and oops. And I just feel like, you know, again, there's going to be some communication coming in. Um, it may, you know, kind of open up some old wounds, but at the same time, it kind of feels like that's what it's going to take to kind of fix some things to kind of, um, you know, get past this to really kind of start like the healing process, especially if you do want to reconcile with this person. We also have two keys. So, you know, this is, you know, some new opportunities. This is opening up some locked doors here. Um, we also have a little Christmas tree. So for me, that's kind of like, you know, uh, timing. So there could have, you know, been something last Christmas that kind of went down between the two of you two. And you're actually reconciling this year. Um, or, you know, that's the timing for me that this person's going to be coming back. Could possibly be in December. Uh, with the little starfish here, you know, this is really kind of talking about um, regeneration. Um, it's talking about intuition and I keep getting resilience with a little moon and then the little cat in the moon here. See his little tail. I love his charm. Um, <laughs> this is really kind of just telling me that, you know, again, almost kind of looking up at the moon, like wish, you know, wishing on a star type of situation. I keep getting that somebody really does love like, you know, just staring up at the moon, just kind of being like outdoors. Um, 
you could possibly, since there's a cat there, there could be a cat lover, of course. Um, let's see. But I keep getting, like I said, a regeneration. This could be, again, a timing thing, especially with the moon phases. So again, just kind of keep that in moon, uh, keep that in mind, not keep that in moon. So okay, well, that is what I have for you, Aries. So thank you so very much for watching, um, and until next time, everybody have a spooky rest of the week and take care.